You gotta go three, two, one. This is gonna be like a five minute video. Three, two, one. Hey guys, what's up? This is Ron. I'm with Byron Power Sports, as everybody knows, and I've got like 182 subscribers now. So real quick, I'm about to roll through my Triumph section since you guys seem to like Triumph motorcycles, and I'm gonna go over a little bit on each bike. You ready, Tab? Ready. Let's do it. First off, guys, we got this. Now this right here is the Rally Explorer. This is the nicest bike Triumph makes. Now this is an adventure bike made for going on and off road. The Explorer has the large tank on it. So you got like an eight gallon tank. It gets 50 miles to the gallon, but this bike has it all. The best in brakes, the three cylinder motor. So you're getting that power all throughout the tack. Brembo brakes, quick shift module from the factory. This is like taking five different bikes, throwing it in the blender comes out as this. This is the Tiger Explorer, the Mac Daddy. Now let's go over here. This is the Tiger 900. Now this right here is the GT Pro. Rally more off-road oriented, GT more on-road oriented. So as you can see, you're gonna have the mag wheels on it. Still gonna get all the goodies like ABS, traction control, and the different modes. Also gonna get that quick shift module right there from the factory. So this is a 900. I personally love the 900. Cause to me, this thing is just like sport bike, adventure bike. It does everything. It carves through the mountains. It's comfortable. Your iron butt guys, they're riding adventure bikes for the comfort. Now let's go down here to this. This is the Tiger 660. So this is the new Tiger 660, less than $10,000. You're not gonna get a bike for less than $10,000 that'll do what this does. Different modes. Show a suspension, Nissan brakes, okay? It kind of an adventure sport platform. It's brother. Huh. Surprised I even got one of these in stock, okay? This is the Trident 660. Basically, this and the Tiger Sport, you know, same motor, same frame, but this is gonna be a little more sporty platform, guys. This is a three cylinder motor, so it's, you know, it's like the best of both worlds. You get the bottom end like you wouldn't have, you know, take a V-twin, the bottom end, four cylinder, you get the high horsepower. The three cylinder is like the perfect mixture. But these are very hard to find and hard to find for a reason. It blows everything away in its class. Oh my gosh, let's go over here to this. Now guys, horsepower to weight ratio, unbelievable. Highest spec suspension. This is R1M suspension. The Brembo brakes on it. That's what you're gonna find on like an Aprilia RSV4. Olin suspension, Brembo brakes, real carbon fiber from the same company Lamborghini uses for their carbon fiber. This thing has 180 horsepower and weighs like a little over 400 pounds. Look at that suspension, just a beautiful work of art. So this is not a sport bike. It's like a bike all of its own. It's not full fairing, it's kind of retro cafe but unbelievable and has every bell and whistle. Of course, again, quick shift module, but awesome suspension, awesome brakes. Over here, guys, Cafe Racer, that's all I gotta say. This is the Thruxen 1200. This is the Cafe Racer. Everybody else can try to have a Cafe Racer, but this is the original Cafe Racer. 1200, six speed, 100 horsepower, parallel twin, 270 crank, Unbelievable. This is a high horsepower 1200. Now guys, they also have a T120 right here. This is also a 1200, but you see on the motor, you're gonna have an HT or an HP. Your Thruxton's gonna produce a little more horsepower when the T120 bobber's gonna produce a little more torque. You know, a little more bottom end, different crank, the different setup. High torque, high horsepower. This street scrambler, I've personally taken one off road. Now this is a 900. The 900s are five speed. The 1200s are six speed. All these Triumphs get about 50 miles to the gallon at least. But I personally had one of these off road. I will take this thing around a motocross track. It is awesome. How exhaust, you know, it's just got that classic Steve McQueen look. Oh, look, I'm dropping seats. See these seats right here? You can put any of these seats on these modern classics. Then we'll go over here, guys. This is the last one on my list. I'm out of breath. T100 Gold Line. All these pinstripes, these are hand painted. This bike's one of a kind. They can't hand pinstripe two bikes. This is the T100. See the polished or the black wheels on it, the polished exhaust, kind of blacked out motor. This bike 
it's not the best at anything, but it's good at everything. I personally have some Triumphs, I love them, but this bike right here, five speed, 900, amazing bike, and look at it. They call us a modern classic because this has the classic look, but all the modern technology of an R6, ABS, traction control. And guys, that's my little Triumph spiel on what I got here. Thank y'all so much for watching my videos. I'm trying my best, but 182 subscribers, thank y'all so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Ron.